If you don't jump to put jeans on, you don't feel my pain. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we do have a video request and it comes from, I'm gonna pop her name here, and she's asking, for casual fragrances, fragrances that you can wear like to a bow and alley, to the movies, maybe to the mall, light shopping, Trader Joe's, get your hair done, your nails done. So today we're gonna be talking about casual fragrances and the ones that I would recommend. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into or wanna become a part of, go ahead and stop what you're doing. Drop me your scent of the day because you know I wanna know what you're rocking. And if you really want to ensure you never miss a video over here, tap the notification bell. And if this feels like your vibe or your zhush, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. But I would hate for you to stop there. Of course, if you really want to become a bestie, come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. Hey besties, you guys, I have no idea what's wrong with me today, okay? It is night, it is evening, and this is on a Saturday. So I wanna say thank you, first of all, for your video request. I have some fragrances here. Now you guys, let's take a 2.5 before we get into just going into the fragrances. I always like to set the scene, you know what I mean? That's what I like to do, I like to set the scene. I wanted today's video to be really chill. I tried to make the lights dim, kinda dark, cause it's nighttime, and I wanted it to be casual. I wanted it to be fun casual you know that's the type of video style that I like over here and I just wanted to paint a picture so when I think of fragrances that I reach for to just do the day-to-day -day stuff almost like an easy reach and everyday fragrance but something a little bit dressier just in case someone said hey let's meet at Starbucks or sometime I wear well every time I wear fragrances to the gym or I might be wearing them to the mall I wear fragrances to get my hair done my nails done even though the doctors tell you don't wear fragrance when you come I always sneak a little bit on so those are the places we're talking about today maybe going to the car wash do people still go to the car wash all my neighbors have the detail and people come to their car and wash it I've not tried that yet but I want to if you've tried that let me know let me know if it really gets it clean, because I'll be like, how's that doing anything? But I guess it does. I mean, they do it, and it comes on a regular, so I do want to try that. Um, I digress. I come back. So I have 10 here to share with you, and I'm probably going to mention some others. When it comes to a casual fragrance that a friend could call, or I can go out for the day, maybe shopping, you know, something like that, I would reach for... Gabrielle Chanel. Gabrielle Chanel is a beautiful white floral fragrance. It doesn't clash. It's not too loud. It's not in your face. It's a gorgeous fragrance. To me, it could be worn year round. And I've also noticed, and you'll notice too, by a lot of these fragrances, they're more of my fresh, clean, um, kind of like soapy, even if you allow me to say that. They're not in your face. They're not very harsh. They don't purr. They don't have the hot, heavy, and sexy, what I typically normally am drawn to. When I am going out and I just know that I'm running errands, like I went and got my hair done, I will grab something and put it on. I know she's gonna be working on me. I don't wanna put anything where she's just gonna be all day, every day, except that day I wore strict Nina. Oh, no, 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 that was in my hair, not on me. I would never put something like that on. That's just doing a bit much, and I told you when I reach for those kind of fragrances, they kind of make me antsy, like I wanna go out, I wanna turn up, I wanna be doing something. So I definitely reach for something like this. Even I would reach for something like this, casually uh, catching up with the girls on like a Saturday for like a, a brunch or something. Like I stated, it's a white floral, it's citrus, it's wood, it's sweet, it's beautiful. It's got some orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose, black currant, sandalwood, and musk. It makes for a beautiful fragrance. It doesn't have the best longevity now. Let's be honest, but oh my God, it just smells so fresh, so clean, so like refined, but in a casual form, if you allow me to say that. This too would make for an amazing signature scent. I move on. Another one that's really nice is this one here. This is Tiffany & Co, and this is Sheer. This is a lighter one. It's a beautiful bottle. I absolutely love it. I have a huge dent in this bottle. I'm spraying it sparingly. Even though when it's empty, I'm still gonna keep the bottle because it's just gorgeous. This is fresh. This is clean. This is inviting. It's more, some would say, spring, summer, but I feel I can get away with that because we're getting ready to leave winter and head over into spring. It's a beautiful, fresh, clean fragrance. I'm not even spraying it on the paper. 
it's good. This is another thing that I would reach for. Lunch, brunch, casual shopping. Uh, let's say for instance, see, I'm not a, a tennis shoe and jean kind of girl, you guys, because I don't find jeans that look good on me. Like I, I've never, I mean, I have a few pair from like Paige or um, I wanna try some other ones, but I don't really, I'm not really a jean girl. They, they just, mm. It's, it just doesn't work. I talked to you guys about this before. If you know some really good jeans, leave it down below. But they gotta be for curvy girls. If you know, you know. Anyways, what did Beyonce say? If you don't jump to put jeans on, you don't feel my pain, okay? You gotta be able to jump to put the jeans on to see the kind of jeans that I wanna work with. But yes, this would be a beautiful fragrance. And that is Tiffany & Co. Sheer. I told you, very chill, very relaxed. I have my probiotics here, you guys. Look at this, okay? So, but I got a glass straw, but I had to drink a certain amount. I had to, just let me take a sip. Probiotics, lemon water, apple cider vinegar. It, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't taste half bad. It doesn't, mind your business, it doesn't. Don't judge me, pick somebody else. Okay, another one, this is a classic. I told you this is always going to be in my fragrances. These are fragrances that I really reach for on casual occasions. I can't help that they just all seem to be spring, summer fragrances. Dang, I didn't even know that. But they just are. Dolce & Gabbana, light blue. This is classic, this is nostalgic at this point. To me, it's so fresh, so clean. It's, it's just, it's the apple, it's the citrus, it's the bamboo. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a very casual fragrance in my opinion. This used to be all the rage. I used to hear everybody talking about this. Everyone was wearing it. I was um, not able to have my own bottle, but I would always use my aunt's when I went over her house. And I always wanted to smell like this. And for that reason, it will just forever be in my collection. I even have a backup bottle of this. You can pick this up at anywhere, you guys, especially for a really cheap, inexpensive price. If you check one of the rack stores, this is a really good fragrance to have. Like I said, it's classic. I always get, I don't know why I started telling that Jean story. It'll loop back around, it'll come to me. But anyways, um, this I always get like a nice classic white crisp button down shirt, a nice, you know, pair of jeans if you're a jean girl or whatever type of, you know, pants you wear or what have you. And then a nice crossbody bag. Um, and just chilling for the day, just hanging out. You can wear this at home, you can wear this going out, light shopping, errands. This is something that I've worn many times to get my nails done. And every time I wear it, believe it or not, it still hits. I still get compliments. I move. Another one um, is Jo Malone's fragrances. Those are a lot of the fragrances um, that I do reach for when I do errands and things such as that. Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone would be another fantastic choice I would recommend. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, it's light, it's airy, it's refreshing, it's kind of aquatic even, and, and I feel you can wear this year round. Like, I don't know, where, I wrote down a list of places that I think people go. I <laughs> said, if you're going like, after you finish at the gym, you go upstairs, you shower, you change, you wanna put something refreshing on, something light, not gonna be too in your face, you're gonna smell inviting, fresh when somebody gets in the car, or your guy, your boo, your bae, whoever comes home. You have something like Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, that's perfect. I would absolutely reach for something like this. And I do, this is a fantastic choice. Like I stated, it doesn't have the best longevity, but it is a fantastic choice. I move on. Another one, a little bit more, not dressier, but a little bit more, okay, a little bit more dressier, I would say. Say for instance, you're going to the movies, you know, or you're gonna go to mo the movies and grab a light bite. Not real formal dinner, or not really even a sit down dinner, but you know how the places are that you go to, almost like a Chipotle, something like that. Or uh, uh, what else do people go? Kava, Kava, is it Kava? Kava, Kava, I don't know. One of those salad places, tender greens. You know how you can sit there and eat, so maybe you guys are gonna go to the movies and you're gonna grab a light bite. Something that would be amazing and really nice for that would be something like Soleil Neige. And notice I haven't said date night or anything like that because it doesn't have to you know, do, be a date. It could be a solo date with you by yourself. It could be you and your friends. It could be you and your bae or your boo or what have you, but this would be a good one. It's still bergamot, carrot seed, orange blossom, jasmine, Turkish rose. It's a beautiful fragrance. I told you guys I was running on the beach and I discovered this fragrance. I had it in a sample and I had sprayed it on and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is really good. I need a full bottle. I didn't need a full big bottle because it didn't warrant that for me, but I did want it in my collection for the rare occasions that, you know, I just wanted to smell like this. I really enjoyed it when I wore it. So I went out and got a full bottle and this is really good. And it's really long lasting to be honest with you. I got at least 
six or seven hours. It's a moderate fragrance. It projects well. It's not too in your face, but it definitely smells like a little bit more of a, you know, um, what would you say? Uh, a luxurious, more of a luxurious fragrance is what I would say. So if you're looking for something casual, that one and done, you just want to reach, go to the movies, go to, you know, a light bite to eat or, you know, go bowling, such as she stated, something like that, this would be a way to go. And it's crowd pleasing, I believe. I move on. This is my favorite fragrance for the gym. I tell you guys that all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm always showing you this. This is, I don't even know what this is. What is this called? This is Tiffany. It's fresh. It's citrus. It's, it's got some citrus in it. It's for her. This is good. Oh, this is for her. This is really, really good. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is so super good. It is grapefruit, it's basil, it's neroli, it's cedar, it's vetiver. It's very fresh, very clean. They have one for him and they have one for her. This is what it looks like. This right here is so good. You guys, look at the dent here. Do you see the dent there? It's gonna be gone. It's okay. I love this so much, I would purchase it again. Now, another one that would be really nice, this is Peony and Blush Suede. This is another easy reach. This is a casual date, um, a casual day out. Somebody's gonna stop over. You know if you have company over at the house, I don't know how you guys are, but tap in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this. Even if somebody's gonna come over and I never have company, I don't know, I just don't do company. I don't know why, I just don't. I, it's my personal space, I can't. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, let me know how you feel about that. This is a chatty video. I want to hear from you. Comment, comment. So anyways, if somebody was coming over, you had invited somebody over for lunch and you were, you know, wearing fragrance in the house, I put on two to three fragrances a day in the house. I mean, I don't care if I'm working from home, if I'm running errands, no matter what, I promise you I've put on two to three. And that's just if I'm just, you know, being in the house. Don't let me be testing fragrances. Some days it'll be like, I have like five or six fragrances on. It's bad, it's bad. If you love fragrances, you already know. If you don't, it's okay. It's, it's, it's one that is just like, girl, really? How many fragrances are you gonna wear? But this one here is really good. This is Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. This is a floral fragrance, but you know what, to be honest with you, it's kind of seductive. Yeah. So if somebody was gonna come over, <laughs> depending on who it was. Sheree, we are not talking about date nights. I'm just saying. This would be a way to go. If you were gonna go bowling, something like that, this would be a way to go. It's not too in your face and it's floral, but it's not too sweet, especially if you wore it in more of a colder climate, in my opinion. I move on. I don't like really hot, sweet, sticky fragrances in the summer. It's just, I'm not a fan. Now, another one that I consider to be a casual fragrance, I wear this out, it's signature scent worthy. You can wear this to the office, you can wear this to bed. It is a beautiful fragrance. It is by House of Siage. It is WW84. Um, beautiful bottle, beautiful presentation. This is one of my absolute favorites from the brand. And um, it's so good, it's very vanilla, it's raspberry. Oh my gosh, it's good, girl, I gotta spray it. Hold on a second, I haven't sprayed this in a minute. It's been a minute. I don't, I've been testing out so many other fragrances. Oh, yes, okay, so this has pink pepper raspberry. Uh, almond oil, musk, it's kind of creamy. It definitely just gives you a really nice, creamy, rich vanilla vibe. Oh my gosh, if you were going on like a, I wore this to the beach when I first got it. Um, we were going out, it was like coming out of COVID or still in, I can't really keep up, but it was somewhere around that time. And the only places, there was nowhere were really open, but we wanted to get out and take a drive. So we got out, we got in the car, I sprayed this on, I wanted to test it out outside, you know, cause that's when we were inside, we weren't going outside. And we had went down to the beach and I put this on and oh my gosh, when I got whiffs of it, oh God, girl, don't bring up too many memories. It just made me feel so happy because I was so happy to be outside, so happy to be getting some fresh air. Uh, that was a period in life where it was like, oh my gosh, like, are we ever going back outside? Thank you, Jesus. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is beautiful. Um, if you ever get a chance, wear this to the beach. It is absolutely gorgeous. Another one, um, Casablanca Lily. I know I talk about this all the time, you guys, but this is a casual date. Remember I shared with you guys, I was going out with my dad. We were taking him to the basketball game for his birthday. I didn't know what to wear. I didn't want to be hot, heavy, and sexy. I didn't want to be too floral. I don't want to be too sweet. I just wanted something casually, you know, luxurious, but still casual. You're not too formal or anything like that. And so I chose Casablanca Lily, and it was really, really nice. 
Um, I kept getting whiffs of myself and I smelled amazing. Main Accords are gardenia, it has plum, tuberose, carnation, honey. It's a beautiful fragrance. So this is one to experience. And you know, it's so pretty. Oh my God. This is the one you guys that I got. Oh God. And it still does it. And it brought me to tears. Oh my gosh. You gotta experience this fragrance. If you have, let me know. I wanna hear from you. If you haven't, guy, girl, I would highly recommend getting a whiff of it. It is one to experience. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's one to experience. Oh, I love this fragrance. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Another one that's absolutely amazing and I love it. And this one is more sweeter. This is more playful in my opinion. I don't know if you guys have seen the vlog yet, but we recently went to Florida and I went to Universal. Um, I'm not an amusement park kind of girl, you know what I mean? But that's considered, in my opinion, a casual place, amusement parks. And so if you were looking for something to wear, Eden Juicy Apple 01 is that girl. It is so uber, uber good. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, you guys, I have a backup bottle of this too because the dent in this, look at, look at, look at this. The dent in here is real. This is gonna be gone in like 2.5 seconds. I have nowhere else to spray, but um, I'm not spraying paper. This is like one of my absolute favorites, so. Oh, and it's so good. This is fun. This is hard candy. This is sweet. This is fruity. Ooh, I love it. I can't wait for summer and spring to get here. You guys, I mix this with everything, okay? That's why it looks like this because I mix it with everything and when I spray it, I spray it like crazy. I spray it hard, I spray it heavy. And somebody asked me the other day, like, Shrey, you always say you spray heavy. Like, I told you, like 8, 10, 25, uh, it's my fragrance, I'm gonna spray how I want. And that's how many I spray. I love this fragrance. I spray it from head to toe. I'm <laughs> Not as much as that guy. Have you guys seen that TikTok where that guy's like, one, two. He does it like six times. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's got me beat. He's got me beat. I I'm not spraying that many times. But anyways, you guys, rose, musk, Amber, pink, um, grapefruit, wild berry, jasmine, jasmine, raspberry. This right here is good, good. This would be something like I would wear to like an outdoor event. Say for instance, oh, I don't know how it would pair with the bees. But if it wasn't gonna warrant bees and all those kind of bugs and stuff, this would be good for going golfing. If you were gonna go golfing, that's an outdoor event. Like I said, and uh, here, like I said, an outdoor event, an amusement park would be somewhere I would wear this. Um, skating, I would wear this. Bowling alley, I would wear this. This could just fit the bill. This is like a good, easy reach, one and done. You don't wanna smell like too serious, but you wanna smell kind of jovial, playful, youthful. I would definitely reach for something like this. This makes for a great mixer. You can top it with anything as well. So yeah, this is what I would recommend. I move on. And that is it. Those are the 10 fragrances. A few different scenarios, a few different places of what we go or where I go in my casual life. Target, you can reach for any of those and wear those two Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, like I stated, your nail appointment, doctor's appointments, you know, the casual places we go in life where you don't wanna do too much, but you do still wanna smell nice and inviting, fresh and clean. Always start with, you know, some soap and water. I always say that, I always say that. Those are some that I would recommend. Thank you so much for your video requests. I truly appreciate you. If you have any video requests that you would like to see, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. If we have not connected yet over on Instagram, Make sure you come over and say hi. I would love to hear from you. I love chatting with you guys in the DM. It is so much fun. And I get to know you over there in a more personable way. And if you leave a comment down below, I get to know you there as well. But a lot of you tell me you're shy, so you come over and say hi on Instagram. And I love that just as much. Thank you so much for your video requests. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darling. Thanks for watching. Bye. You guys, okay, a quick 2.5. I know, the people that wanted to hear about the, the fragrances, they're over. But let me tell you a quick 2.5 behind the scenes. So I'm gonna insert a picture. Hopefully they won't be dead by then, but my guy gave me these beautiful long stem roses for V-Day. And remember I was telling you guys, <laughs> remember I was telling you in the date video, I was telling you, I'm not a card, candy, balloon, bear type of girl. Like, I don't want none of that. Just take me out. I don't want any of that. But we were sitting here and uh, the doorbell rang. And he, cause I was getting ready to take my shower and the doorbell rang and he's like, do you want to get the door? And I was like, oh, I'm really not dressed to get the door. So he got the door and in my head, I was thinking like, 
hopefully it's something for me. You know how it is. Amazon, you know, a package from DHL, who else delivers here? Everybody, FedEx. I was hoping it was a package. I'm ordering on Amazon like every day, so I just knew it was gonna be something for me. I did not know it was gonna be that. He watches videos all the time, right? So he said, he's like, oh, it's something for you. So I didn't go down thinking it was something for me, for me. You know what I mean? I thought it was something for me, from me. Um, and he's he handed it to me and he's like, I know you don't really like flowers and candy and the whole thing like that. He said, but I love giving you flowers. So I'm giving them to you. And he's like, and you know you like flowers. I, okay, you guys, the reason why I do not like flowers is because I don't have a green thumb and I cannot keep them alive. If you follow me on Instagram, I show you all the time. I get them on Monday, they're dead by Tuesday. I don't know, they don't like me. However, so I, I, I follow directions. A lot of you were telling me straight, cut the stems at an angle, at a slant. And he was telling me, put the plant food in, I don't know why he's like, uh, you know, put it in there. And then somebody was telling me to put some ice in there. I listen to everybody, okay? Cause when I don't know what I'm doing, I would tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. So I listened to everybody. I went ahead, put the flowers in the vase or the vase. And then I put the, uh, the water, the food, everything that everybody suggests. You guys, they are still alive and they look so pretty. And wait, Valentine's Day was on what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday five days they're still alive so i will say oh maybe i am a flower girl it came with some chocolates too and he had this beautiful card that came with it as well and it kind of made me feel a kind of way so i said i gotta go back and let the besties know i did feel really happy receiving flowers and chocolates i mean i haven't eaten the chocolates i'm gonna be honest with you the fancy chocolates are great but my favorite chocolate if i were able to eat one and not gain 30 pounds would be a snicker I'm a snicker kind of girl, you know what I mean? So the chocolates are still down there. I'm gonna wait and pour some champagne and have some chocolates and make it a whole thing. That's just how I am. I'm over the top extra on everything. But yeah, so I wanted to come back and let you guys know those flowers, I put them in here and every time I look at them, they just make me smile. They make me really, really happy. So maybe I take it back. Maybe I am a flower girl. I still don't want no balloons, a flower and card girl. Okay, and if you're gonna give me some candy, a snicker will be good. I mean, I do like C's candy too, but um, yeah, a snicker would be good, but yes. That's it, that's it, you guys. I love these after, I don't know what I'm gonna call these, but they're like after hours, or behind the curtains, behind the scenes. Think of a name and tell me what we wanna call it. But yeah, I remember I used to watch Wendy Williams, and um, she would have like, oh my God, I miss Wendy Williams, you guys, I really liked her. Like, I really enjoyed her show. She just seemed like my auntie. You know what I mean? Like a, a auntie that you could just turn on every day and watch. I miss seeing her on TV. But anyways, on my digress, I come back. After her show, she would have the after show and it was like real live, real intimate. You know, she would pull up, the cameras would still be there. I believe Kristen was his name. He would be... Thank you, Jeffrey, I appreciate that. And you're letting me know how long I've been talking. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. But anyways, um, he would come in and she would be eating her lunch and taking off her makeup and talking about you know her personal life and what she had to do and yada, yada, yada. And I felt so connected with her. And I know I don't see you guys and we're not face to face, but I feel like I know you because we chat so much. And then also, you know, I see the same people come back and leave the same, you know, comments and we talk all the time. So it just feels like, like, I don't know, like friends. So I like the whole behind the scenes thing. I don't want it to be stuffy and you know, I don't know. I just want it to be like friends, like we are. So that's it, you guys. I love my flowers, okay? And I'm gonna show a picture of them to you if they don't die before I take the picture. You guys, you see my flowers? They are still alive. I am not with Killing Roses anymore. I am with keeping them alive. Too much TikTok, but gorgeous, right? I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you staying for the extended footage. You guys, think of a name and leave it down below of what we want to call this. And I'll see you beautiful besties in the next one. Thanks for staying, guys. Bye.